Hey everybody, this is Nick, N0NYA with Bridgecom Systems, and today we are going to be unboxing the long-awaited Anytone 578 UV3 Pro Tri-Band Mobile Radio. Let's get into it. When opening the box, the first thing to remove is the mounting bracket. This is for mounting the unit in your car or on your workbench. Here in the middle, we have the 578DU3 Pro, the long-awaited. The face plate is not interchangeable, but it has a very nice and rugged build. The selection knob has very nice clicks and the other two knobs have very smooth spins. There are six programmable faceplate buttons and all of the buttons have a very nice click. There's a micro USB programming port on the side here. On the back from right to left we have an SO239 antenna port that takes a PL259 antenna, the cooling fan, a GPS antenna port, an audio output for your car speakers or external desk speakers. There are two 3.5mm ports for two simultaneous speakers. And the DC power cables. Now this unit requires between 12 and 13.8 volts with a maximum 15 amp draw. Next out of the box we have mounting screws and washers and two spare fuses. Also, a Bluetooth push-to-talk button, Velcro strap, and a dual micro USB cable. This device is Bluetooth enabled and will connect to other Bluetooth devices. They have also provided a GPS antenna. If you don't want to use GPS, the unit will work without you plugging this in. And last, but not least, a hand mic. This mic allows you to change the zone, the channel, toggle between two different VFO options, and much, much more. The keypad is soft, but all the other keys have a strong click to them. This device plugs into the front of the unit and has plenty of stretch. The programming software for the 578 will be different than the Anytone handhelds, but will also have a very similar interface. We don't have specifics yet, but your previous code plugs will be able to be converted to the mobile. 